Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity, my name is Jay and today it sort of looks like that the Clone Wars have been delayed from essentially September to very early October. Um, we always thought it would be September, we were saying end of Q3 um, and that aligned with like mid-September release date. Um, that would have been in line with what happened with X-Wing 2.0. We always expected that but uh, Matt Holland who I believe works for um, FFG, I'm not 100% sure of his role, so I do apologize for that. Um, it basically said that there's going to be a delay. Anyway, before we talk about that, if at the end of this video, I was going to say like and subscribe, this is just a very quick video, so I mean, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, I guess is really the main thing. Uh, liking it is do do as you wish, right? Um, now, no, no disrespect to Matt in this one, but this <laughs> the post here just baffled me. Um, entirely so we'll, we'll get on to it i don't think this is a massive problem by the way if it comes out in early october and um, there's obviously been some shipping delays and stuff like that not a massive problem but um so the clones are coming for q4 but early q4 here yeah, this is from my facebook so if you see anything that like shouldn't be here i do apologize but it's actually my facebook and um yeah so there's a, he posted uh, which had since been deleted and i'm gonna read it uh is it verbatim like exactly basically hey all we haven't communicated about a delay because there really hasn't been one we said q3 and it's still q3 as lj pointed out i'm not sure what the previous post was uh, that said, it does now look like it'll be Q4, or just about as early as Q4 um, as is possible. So I do apologise for that, but as, I'll let you know as soon as we have a firm date. Uh, number one, what? <laughs> like, <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense. Right, so they didn't confirm a f proper release date, but all the communication that we'd said, we'd seen so far as far, like on the streams, etc., had all said the end of Q3. Now, October, no matter... Uh, unless you're doing the financial where like April is the start of Q1, which this is not how FSG do their news, October to December is Q4, right? <laughs> like, like, it just is. Um, I, so it's like we're not in a, we've not we're not in a communicating a delay because there hasn't been one. So it's not. But then we said it would be Q3, but it's now going to be Q4. I'm not a hundred percent sure how what their argument is there that it wasn't Q3. That they never said at the end of Q3 is still well, October is still the end of Q3. I guess technically, the end of Q3 is just after Q3. You might you could include, but I mean it's just it's silly, isn't it? It's, it's a delay. We thought it was coming out September. It's coming out October. Um, no matter how you word it, I don't, I'm not I'm sure. I just don't understand that. If I'm honest, um, we were told it'd be the end of Q3. It's going to be the start of Q4, which isn't necessarily a problem. It's nice to know. Um, I do think it's a little bit weird that it's mid-September and we're only just hearing about that. Like, um, I, I have spoke about FFG, and it's not just FFG; it's Asmodi and all that kind of stuff. Um, the way that um, they ship the stuff is, I presume, directly almost from um, China or wherever it's manufactured. I presume China. Um, and it goes straight to the stores. I think that's how it works, right? Because th they don't collect, they don't have like a warehouse where they collect all of their stuff and then ship it from there. Um, so they don't really control the release dates until the manufacturing process is all done and that kind of thing. And that's generally, I think, why we don't get like a, it's coming out on the 15th of June. Do you, like We don't get those specific dates like we get with like other companies, that kind of thing. Uh, we d well, I say other companies, uh, Games Workshop, have an exception that they give those exact dates and um, the rest generally don't and I think it's all because of the same process is that it probably gets manufactured and just sent straight to the store right um, or the backers or what have you uh, only in places where they will have their own warehouse that takes everything in and then redistribute it would I think you get exact uh, dates now there's a bit of a caveat to that like Games Workshop I believe manufactures some of their stuff in the UK so they don't have to worry about like the the transport and stuff like that. They're they're in charge of it themselves a lot of the time. So, um, I mean, it's understandable. It's understandable that we're not getting the Clone Wars like um until early October. They've obviously had some delays in their shipping or manufacturing or whatever it is. Um, my only like wish, and I I mention this all the time, is just I think they need uh, to so, uh, so I don't want to say sort out the marketing because it's not that the marketing's bad, but um they it's just get a better grasp of the um i don't want to say like logistics i don't really know what i'm talking about so i don't want to i don't want to say like i know what i'm talking about but they need to get a bit of a hold of uh, specific release dates like i think that's important because it then means you can build your hype and your marketing around it like the clone wars release should be a massive hype release 
but the fact that we had Gen Con that sort of softened it out. We've had no like proper press like moments of where everybody's doing it like spiky bits and a beast of war and all that kind of stuff. We've not really had that. And I sort of feel like that hurts these big releases rather than helps them. Uh, it's like we have a slow trickle rather than a boom, it's out, here's your day. Everybody's going to go and buy it, it's release day. Which we did sort of have with the initial release, but we've not really had with this. But um, yeah, that's it. One thing I do want to talk about before I, I, I go <laughs> is um, I want to talk about terrain, right? So a bit, if you've got any ideas for really good, iconic Clone Wars terrain that you want to see on my uh, terrain channel, Terrain Oddity, link in the description below, sell out. Um, Please let me know, but because basically, like, there's been the Geonosis uh, towers, but I think two people already have done that. Like, um, the Terrain Studio have done that, and the other channel I don't remember, so do forgive me. And then it's like I was thinking about like what is iconic to Clone Wars, and you've got like your Naboo buildings, but they seem pretty difficult. Um, you've got your Naboo like foresty planets. You've got um, Alderaan, which is like a desert, which let's just say Tatooine, unless there's a difference that I can, but you know, whatever. Very similar, essentially. Um, and then the other ones where it's like, is it Camino, the ones with the clones? Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure how you would make that. So if you've got anything that is Clone Wars specific terrain ideas, we just let me know in the comments um, and hopefully I might make that. What I'm actually thinking about doing on the terrain channel is just making some more generic call, um, Star Wars stuff um, because I feel like even if you're getting into the Clone Wars, you might actually remember like the original films more but whatever that's just a side note please let me know um the delay is it a massive problem no i just wish we everything would get communicated a little bit easier and a little bit quicker and uh, we had like the hype really like they could say the 10th of october that would and we could all build up to that and everybody got it at the same time and it was like a hype moment i feel like that a little bit better how you push your releases how you build hype games workshop very good at that hey this is coming out for pre-order next week hey it's released in one week's time boom release saturday everybody knows you know i think that's better basically um that's it i'm off <laughs> just a quick uh chat to say that it looks like a bit of delay i did have some plans for some videos specifically relating around right when clone was coming out and the delay sort of means i'm not gonna shelve them for like a week or so but maybe two weeks but not really a big problem. Nobody will really care unless you watch that video. So <laughs> there is th there's that. Have a most beautiful day. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in Star Wars Legion. And goodbye.